YouTube, how are you now? Sean here from the EDC Den. Welcome back to the channel, one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, today I thought I would give you a look inside this case. This is just a little travel case for knives and tools. I'm going to be going up to the cabin for a few days, and I just thought I'd give you a look at the selection of knives that I'll be bringing for this trip and why I chose these knives. All right, so let's get this case open. Take a look here. So this is the selection. Some of these knives you guys have seen before and others you haven't. I'll just go through them quickly. This is the Rough Rider Sow Belly Stockman. I'm bringing this one just as a go-to traditional knife and also to potentially continue working on this little Swedish Dalla horse that I started carving. He's getting a little bit small. I find there's like no room to grab him. Um, I might need a bigger project to start. If you guys have any suggestions for a, a beginner whittling project for a piece of wood maybe this size, let me know in the comments, please. So the Rough Rider, we might keep going. That's kind of what I've been using for this guy. And I've also been using this tool for some of the carving and filing. That's the Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit X. Just a great tool. Little update here, we've added a clip. So my wife has kind of taken over this tool, guys, unfortunately for me. I am taking it back for this little cabin trip. It's going to be my everyday multi-tool for this little trip. But she's working on a farm. She's taking this to the farm every day. And she puts this in the pocket on a bib for overalls. So that just slides in the overall pocket. And if she bends over, it's not going to slide out. This will keep it in place when you need to slide it out of the pocket, push this little spring release and slide it out. So I haven't had this one in my possession for a while. It'll be nice to have it up there at the cabin. Up here, we all know this one, the Spyderco Endura. I'm bringing this one because I don't have a lot of great kitchen knives up at the cabin. So this is a good food prep knife. It's just a multi-purpose, light-duty food prep knife. Next up here, we've got the Cold Steel SR1. This is in G10, and it's got partial steel liners. You can see that this is mostly just the G10 handles, and the steel liners are just in there in this region here, running along the back spring and triad lock. You can see they come to an end there, so... A little bit fortified with steel on this one. It's not just the G10, but it is primarily just G10. This is still an incredibly solid, strong knife. The triad lock is an absolute favorite lock of mine. Just feels so sturdy and solid. S35VN steel on this one. So I don't get to carry something like this too often in the city. So I like to take advantage of being able to carry my bigger knives when I'm up at the cabin. CJRB Feldspar, great knife. This is going to be the go-to just attached to my pocket while I'm up at the cabin knife. A lot of times I would have the paramilitary two in that role but we're gonna try the CJRB full-size feldspar this week. So these two will be the go-to carries. This guy's in the kitchen, that's the go-to multi-tool and the go-to traditional, potentially some whittling. We've got two canoes here in the middle, one from Buck and one from Rough Rider going to be bringing these to hopefully do a video while I'm up there. I haven't shown this one at all and this one has maybe only made a quick appearance so I'd like to get both of these in a video. The Buck 112 Ranger just feels like an appropriate cabin knife doesn't it? Yeah I always bring this one up to the cabin it's just good to have so that one will be coming with me as well. And the final two selections here I tease these briefly, just showing the boxes. These are two Civivi knives. This is the X-Arch and this is the Odium. My first two Civivi knives. So 
not exactly what I would consider cabin knives, but similarly to these two, I haven't done videos yet, so I thought I'd bring them up. If I get the chance, then I'll try and do a video of both of these. This one is a front flipper. Great, great action on this one. And this is a flipper as well. It's not a front flipper, just the classic style push button flipper. So those are my selections for this particular trip. I'm also going to bring a couple of fixed blades, of course, and a hatchet. Um, that should that should do it. That should round out the tool selection. Okay, guys, I might be out of touch for a little while. I won't be connected to the internet for a few days, uh, several days, actually. So we'll catch up soon. Hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you real soon in the next video, hopefully featuring some of these knives here. Take care, everybody.